We start the day top of the league. That is a sentence that feels very good to say, albeit unexpected to say at this stage of our time here at Mallorca, but we're three points clear of Barcelona ahead of a ridiculously busy month of February. Eight games in the month ahead, and well, there's five league games next month, and that could be bumped to seven games plus if we uh, get through in the two cup competitions that we're involved in this month, as it's so busy. We're going to split the month into uh, into two episodes. We'll start with Celta at home. I'll sim that. Then we'll play the first leg against Real and the first leg against Porto. And the sandwiched game in between against the Athletic Club de Bilbao. So, uh, first things first. It should, in, the, in theory, be a pretty straightforward victory against a side that are 15th in the league. It's a victory, but it certainly wasn't straightforward. But we'll take a 3-2 scoreline. Robertone, Gineppo and Ndicca getting the goals. Oh, that was closer than I thought it might be, or I hoped it would be, but the end result was what we needed it to be. Progress assessment, oh, I'm probably not going to be doing what you want me to. <laughs> Shock. Uh, but Musa's development is growing. He's now up to 80 rated. He's, I forget, he's still only 21, Musa, so there's plenty of growth left in him. We've got a really, really promising side here at Mallorca that are almost, to an extent, fulfilling that promise early by being where we are in the league at this early stage in our uh, in our career here at the club. There's still, there's still far enough to go that we're not sure whether it's going to be a league title attempt this year or whether we're going to have to wait till next year. But certainly we look like we're capable enough of uh, challenging for the Copa del Rey again this year and potentially for the Europa League and potentially for the league title as well. Bay has been brilliant, but we turned down Sevilla's offer because, well, we value him very highly. And I want him to stay. He's one of our best young youth prospects. It's not going to be easy against Real Madrid, mainly because it's Real Madrid. But we should be able to do something. What are we, what are we doing in the league against Real earlier this year? We lost by two goals. To, oh, that was the Super Cup. We simmed that one. What are we doing against Real in the league? Have we played them in the league? We have. Ah, yes. Ha! <laughs> mm. Um, a 5-1 defeat. Ha! <laughs> um, well, better this time, eh? Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. And uh, let's try and not lose by five goals to one, shall we? I'm going to have to rotate slightly because of some tired legs, but that's not a problem. Actually, we could give Lammers the start for the very first time. Let's see what he's all about up top. Right, Real Madrid up next. Real Madrid line up as follows then. Thibaut Courtois in goal. Matt Sommels and Davinson Sanchez as the centre-back partnership. Tanguy Ndombele and Thomas Muller in their midfield with Bobby Firmino as the false nine, their newest and biggest signing. Vinicius. Played very well against Liverpool in the Champions League recently. Hopefully we can keep him quiet. Hopefully we can keep all of them quiet. Away goals do count, of course. That's how we got to the final last year. And we hope that we can keep a clean sheet in this first leg and maybe rely on away goals again in the, uh, in the away leg. But you never know. We might actually be able to get a result this time around. Although if it's anything like the league game, I, I doubt that's going to happen. Gineppo around the corner. Kufre with an early cross, but it's not the best looking for Lammers. Keen to see how good he can be. It's the first time I've played with him in this game, so we'll see if he's any good. Oh, Luka Modric is retiring. The end of an era. Be a, a hell of an end, end of an era ultimate team card, wouldn't it? Luka Modric. Well, I've destroyed him there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, Bobby! Oh, the 5 1 begins again. It's 1 0 Real Madrid. And he says he's on his way, but he's offside. Here's Rodrigo. He's tucked very narrow. We get a foot in with Kufre, who's. Come all the way across the field with Rodrigo to track the run. Here is Rodrigo again. Now on the other side of the field. Where's Vinicius gone? Have they, have they switched wings perhaps? Vinicius is out on that far side now. Bobby Firmino goes to ground, but it's only because he lost his balance. Uh, keeps, I need you. Oh, maybe maybe Vinicius and uh, Rodrigo swap sides. I'm not sure. Oh, I only just evaded the foot. Wow, Gineppo nearly passed that straight to... Real Madrid man, Lammers. Oh, space for Kubo. Lammers could get himself an assist here. On debut. He has indeed. Takafusa Kubo is proving to be quite the young talent now that we've finally started to get the best out of him. A goal against Real Madrid at home to make it 1-1 in this first leg. 
And Lemmers does have an assist on debut. Kubo has really stepped up this season. And I'm all about it. Oh, a little bit of acceleration there. Did, work, did very well. Now Rodrigo. Just hard to catch at the best of times. Oh, he kept it in. I couldn't slow down in time. Rodrigo to Sergio Santos. Bobby Firmino. Pass one. Not pass Bay, though. Finds Muller, however. Thomas Muller. Dangling legs with Nicolas Dominguez, and it's not really working. Casemiro, little back heel to Muller. Caps opened up a little bit. Oh, he very nearly got on the end of that, Rodrigo. Excellent through ball. Waited perfectly to keep it away from the defender. And Rodrigo was about that far away from toe poking Real Madrid back in front before half time. Rodrigo into Bobby Firmino. Oh, I was trying to get to Dominguez, but I couldn't switch to him quickly enough. And Vinicius is found in behind here. Oh, that is the quality of the man. How is that for a goal? Good run. But the chest control and then the first time volleyed finish are genuinely world class from Vinicius. That is an outrageous goal. Coco Vegas, no chance. My entire defence, no chance. That is superb. Real have a second away goal and their lead restored. Bobby Firmino. Bring and Dicker up towards him, but... Can't get there. Muller across looking for Vinicius. He's not going to score from there, at least. He's going to keep it in, though, with ridiculously good footwork. And Ye on Yeka defends well enough to force the corner, but Real Madrid certainly look like the better side at the moment. Muller going off for them, and Martin Odegaard coming on in his place. That'll be cleared away by Bay. Can we get to that with Kubo? We can. It's under control. I need some support, please. Squeeze it around the corner to Gineppo really nicely. Unnombele's with me. Uh, Lammers wants to make the break, but the offside line just isn't allowing him to. Lammers out to Kubo. Come on, I'll wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for that run. And then we'll play on Yeager in. And I see Insura at the back post. Oh, it, uh, why? Why? Oh! Oh, it won't count. I mean, it shouldn't count. Why did Onyeka not cross that first time? He's like, let the ball run across him and then... Oh, come on. We could have easily equalised there if he'd played the cross first time rather than, or like, played it, because technically he did play it first time. If he'd played it when I wanted him to, that's going to hurt for Bay, then we could have got ourselves an equaliser there within Sua just waiting at the back post. We nearly bundled the ball into the back of the net and had an equaliser count anyway, but it was definitely a foul, wasn't it? And Dombele runs into Kufre, and here's Bay, or switch this... Oh, looking for Onyeka, but it will find Takafusa Kobe. He'll find Onyeka. Looking for... Oh, Dominguez in the middle, but it's a poor pass. Come on, Onyeka. You're better than this, Frank. You have been better than this so far. Bit of an off day for Onyeka at right back, has to be said. Bobby Firmino. No way through there. Right, then, come on now. Bay's there. Burst into that gap. Lammers looking for perhaps another assist. Or maybe a goal of his own. He's made a good run. And we'll slot him through. Oh, Lammers on debut. Has an assist and a goal now. It's 2-2. The man is making his mark in his first game. And we are level against Madrid once again. Can they go 3-2 in front? At the death. Immobile off the bench now. Finds Rodrigo who finds Juan Bernat. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Just forcing backwards, well done Kufre. Well defended, that could have been a particularly dangerous end to the game. But we end at 2-2. That's a respectable scoreline, considering we lost 5-1 earlier on in the season against them. But they were... Well, the better side, I felt. But apparently, every shot that was taken in the game ended up in the back of the net. Questions asked to the goalkeepers. Raul Sociedad win 4-1 away from home against Levante in their semi-final. So, if we can get through against Real Madrid, it should be a more straightforward final. But, I'll get through against Real Madrid first. Onyeka can now complete his training to a right back. Stays at 82 rated, however. But, we can now build on his defensive stats. His physical stats certainly don't need any work. But, get that acceleration up a little bit and improve those defensive statistics and those reactions and hopefully his uh, overall rating will actually go up quite quickly uh, there was something was there no there wasn't another development i thought someone else had grown a little bit right up next is bill bow away we are top they are 
ninth. And having an indifferent season, having lost almost as many as they've won this season, we've lost a quarter of the games that we've won. Right. It should be a win then, right? Bilbao's starting lineup looks as follows in a 4 4 2. Esquieta in goal. Don't know much about him. Malasia, their new signing at left back. Uh, Victor Ruiz uh, sends back alongside Medina and Ander Capra at right back. Balde on the right this time. They normally play him up top. They've got Luis Muriel and Lucas Alario up top is their two strikers. I'm not sure which Suarez that is on the right hand side of their midfield. We'll have a quick look. Ander Capra, Medina, Ruiz, Malasia, Mama Balde, Mikel Vesca, Joaquin Indecochea. And it is Luis Javier Suarez. I thought it might be, but... And then Luis Muriel and Lucas Solario. Last time we played Bilbao, they were playing a lot of players in unfamiliar positions. They were, as it turns out, positions that they do have available as their options. But they were still not necessarily playing in the positions you would expect them to play. And it was a bit of a disjointed performance from Bilbao last time. Uh, this should be a bit more... A bit more of a straightforward game for them with regards to knowing what they're doing tactically. Their players should know exactly... Well, he's done it again. I tried to hit that first time. He did that against Madrid, didn't he, Onyeka? I tried to hit that first time and he's just let it run and ignored the ball almost. That's really frustrating. Bay, has got a bit of space from the edge of the box. The shot's blocked. Onyeka really needs to stop doing that. Um, it's weird that he's done the, the exact same thing twice there. I was able to cancel the cross on this occasion because I was... Ex Half expecting it. And are able to react quicker. Here's Alario. He could have played the ball through the middle. Perhaps should have played the ball through the middle. It has ended up through the middle. And they have still scored, so it doesn't matter. Luis Javier Suarez may be playing on the left-hand side of midfield in a 4-4-2. But he's still the main man through the middle to score the first goal of the game. Not what I wanted to happen at the beginning of this fixture. Bay out to Kufre. There's Gineppo. We need to fight back and quickly. Just squeezing it through to Robertone. He's been getting some praise in the comment section from you guys. He's kind of an unsung hero of the team, kind of dominating games in the midfield and dictating play. And I, I have to agree, Lucas Robertone has been one of the best signings we've made in this save. One of the most effective. Cucho just doesn't have the strength to hold off Victor, or to hold off Victor Ruiz there, despite the fact he's got the acceleration and sprint speed to ordinarily run a lot faster than him. If you haven't got the strength to go along with it in that sort of scenario, you're not going to get past someone. Lovely tackle by Bay. No, he... Fell over! Sheriff! Stay on your feet! I'm in, mate! Kucho's right there! Ugh. Not going my way so far in this game, is it? Robertone, do we go out wide? I'll oh, go centrally as he's taken the defenders away there with the run. Oh, it's going to fall still! Oh! And he smashed it over the bar. I used the right back first on Yeka. And then Kubo can make me the run in front. Nice turn inside. Look for Insua first. Maybe the run, Kucho. There we go. That's the pass we needed. And there is the finish. I knew it was coming. 1-1. We've equalised. We earned that goal. We deserve that goal. And let's go and get another. Robertone. Um, that, that didn't even change for Robert. I don't... <laughs> How do you even explain that? It's a good save by Coco Vegas. Robertone's... I tried to play the pass forwards, he's played it backwards, and to nobody, because it stayed in control of Robertone? That's very peculiar. Uh, the headed clearance goes away and out for a throw-in, but if they'd have scored from that, you can well imagine I might have exploded a little bit. Here's their goal scorer, Luis Javier Suarez, into Luis Muriel, Balde to Vesca, Luis Muriel, and oh, it's nicely done. And Malasia can't score, Coque Vegas. Comes out and smothers it at his feet and blocks it well. Malasia stands the ball up. Can Gineppo get to that? He can. Oh, dearie me, under pressure. But all of that came from that inexplicable pass from Robertone. And now going the other way, maybe we could actually score against them. Please be onside. Please be onside. Please be onside. He's onside. He scored! Golasso! Cucho makes it 2-1. Maybe not the best of ideas to go and celebrate right in front of the home fans like that. But we'll take the goal. Tar very much. Just onside. And a good left-footed finish as well. Vamos. Out to Kufre. Through that gap to Gineppo. It's poor defensive positioning from the Bilbao man. And Gineppo will bury it. I tried to get him to take it on his right foot. 
but he's still taking it on his left. Not that it matters because it's ended up in the back of the net. Good finish by Musa Janep. It was the movement there to go one way. The defender went with him and then he just darted back the other. Left the defender and then there was that gap in the channel between the centre-back and the wing-back. And he's perfectly executed the run and the finish. And we now have a little bit of daylight between ourselves and Athletic Club de Bilbao. We went behind but we have rallied in quite spectacular fashion. To Alario, oh, I've just I've opened up the same channel that I just scored through. I did that manually by moving the defender the wrong way. Come on, Chez, wake up defensively. Can't be doing what you can at one end to then let them in at the other yourself. An hour played here as Mamabalde goes off and they make a change. Corner to come in from Luis Suarez. It's Inigo Cordoba or Cordoba that's come on. He plays the ball there to Luis Muriel. A sharp turning can't allow Muriel. Half a yard because he will score. Everton Dicker doesn't allow the man in the middle there even a quarter of a yard before getting the ball off him. And he's chasing the ball about like a madman at the moment. In, Muriel flicks it away, but it has gone away from goal, thankfully. And the scoreline remains at 3-1. Robertone down the line to Kubo. One more would, I'd like to think, finish the game off. They've been decent going forward. Oh, I wish that had gone in. I wish that had gone in. A pile driver from Sheriff Bay. And it wasn't too far wide of that post. He doesn't score many. Oh, he, my, guy, <laughs> my guy on the, the touchline literally kicking every ball. And Dicker lift that over to make sure that it gets to Kufre. Gineppo is always reliable. You know that Gineppo is going to make your run at some point. You just have to wait for it and then it will come. He's not... Having that rub off on a number of other players in the team, unfortunately. Insua will find Kucho here, who's on a hat-trick and now has it. Really well-worked move, and we'll round it out with 4-1. Four goals in the first game, five in the second. There's five in the... Actually, no, five goals in the first game, because that was the 3-2 sim. Four goals in the second, a 2-2 draw. Five goals in this one at 4-1, and... Well, there's a few minutes remaining, but that's probably going to be it for now. How many goals are going to happen in the game against Porto? In before nil nil draw. Zvezka to Suarez. We might get a sixth goal in the game. Vesca. Oh no, he's gone backwards. Oh no, and a cap. It could still force the issue. Out wide. Try and stop the good ball from getting back to the man there. It could cross here. It's opened up for the pass to Vesca. Munayin. Oh, good save by Koke Vega. Sticking out that left foot. We may be 4 1 up, but. Still got to do your jobs, haven't you, defensively? Malassia will deliver the corner. Luis Muriel has gone off, and Kenan Codro has come on. Why they bothered making a substitution, I have no idea, because that's the end of the game. A 4-1 victory away from home at the San Mames. We'll take it. I mean, it's a big result for us. Now, Porto in the cup. Was it home or away first against Porto? So away, away goals obviously count in the Copa del Rey, and away goals will count here. We are at home first again. Now, if we can avoid defeat, or avoid even a draw... This time, we can just win the game, then that would give us more hope of the second leg. Although, to be fair, to be fair, we probably stand a better chance of winning this one than we did against Real Madrid and getting a, a result away from home in the second leg. Oh, I can't bother. I'm just going to simulate this. Right, I will see you in the game against Porto. Porto line up with Marcusin in goal. They have... Martinez up top and Kutuka is a 4-4-2 for them as well. Andrade out wide, Martin Darun in the middle. It's not a very strong Porto side by the looks of things. But they, they've done well enough to get themselves to the knockout stages of the Europa League, so they've got to be half decent. I'm not sure who else was in their group. One change to the lineup for me, that being that Pippa is in as... Uh, Onyeka had a suspension for one European game for his previous misdemeanours at, uh, at Midland, but Pippa's certainly good enough to come in and do a job here in this first leg, and if we can play as well here as we did against Bilbao, we might even put ourselves in a position where we don't even need to play the second leg. But hopefully, that's the case. Here's Fernando Andrade. Little back heel to Zaidu. Lofted into Fabio Vieira. Porto have started brightly. Despite me not necessarily having any idea who half of their players are. It's a poor ball from Insil. It was meant for Kucho and it's, he's tried to swing it out wide. Bay can't get to that loose ball. It's lofted nicely into uh, Martinez here. And this is dangerous for Porto. 
Well, dangerous for me because of Porto. Come on, Federico. Now can you find the pass? That's better. Come on, Kuto. You're in. You've got the legs. Surely, 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 surely! A golazo! Mallorca! Kuto! 1-0! Yeah! Insua swept to Kubo. Still a lot of work to be done with the amount of defenders in front of us, but oh, it's meant for Bay. We'll find him. Kufre on the overlap. Okay, or not. We'll go to... Ah, keep it in! Keep it in! <laughs> done spectacularly well there, Dineppo. Looking for Kubo. Oh, it could be two. It's not. It's a wonderful save by Marchese. Insua from the edge of the box. Oh, no, he's in the post! Oh, this second goal won't come, will it? Brilliant first save. Excellent second effort, but no second goal. Oh, keeper well and truly beaten that time. Ah, oh, Kim does well. Bay can't sweep it around the corner, though, quickly enough. Kutuku not fouled. Oh, come on, ref. I clearly got a large slice of the ball there. Fabio Vieira or Romario Barro to take the free kick. It will be... Oh, a spectacular free kick. From Barrow. Sorry, from Vieira. Barrow was the one that was stood with it. But was it a foul? Questions asked, but you can't say anything about the quality of the free kick. That just is top draw. Porto have an equaliser and an away goal. Pippa. Down the line to Kubo. It's fine. We conceded. Oh, he's ridden the challenge nicely. We conceded one against Bilbao. But we still end up winning that game convincingly. And Gineppo has done oh, superbly. Oh, it's just too many men back there for him to dance around all of them. Excellent attempt by Gineppo to try and work a wonderful guy. Please. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. He's even there, but he's given up on it. It's not a chance. Is he going to go out for a throw or a goal kick? Well, if we were playing rugby, that'd be a hell of a clearance. But we're not. We're playing football. And they haven't really built very well there at all. Kucho, I'll look for Kubo. With Kucho, keep that in, please, Kubo. Maybe send the defender. Hi, hi, oh, never mind. Bay into and sewer. Oh, I've given that away to Fabio Vieira. That's poor. It's not good for me. Kim can't get to that. And I'm worried about the runners all around me. Whoa! And Martinez is left foot. <laughs> Pick that out. Wow. Give Porto their dues. They might not have a very recognisable starting lineup, but pff, they're playing quite well. That's flown off his boot first time. It's one of those odd FIFA goals where as the ball comes to him, it kind of goes behind his standing foot and then he strikes through it, but take nothing away from that. Hell of a finish. And Porto have a second away goal. And it looks more like a replica of the Real game than it does... Uh, the Bilbao. Oh my god, what a finish. What a finish. All from an Insua poor pass as well, frustratingly. Kuto has Robertone making the run. Insua is arriving. And Gineppo is there. We'll look for Kuto. Drop the shoulder. Come on, Kuto. Oh, good save. Good save by Marcusan to get that away. Right, from the corner then. Robertone delivers. Kufre could be underneath this. He is, but he's headed it wide. Martinez again. Oh, I can't get over how well he struck that left-footed effort. His Zaidu into Martinez again. Don't let him shoot on that left for a second time. Kim, excellent challenge. Ah, uh, caramba, we only just got rid of that. Oh, Takafusa Kubo has left the defender for dead. Although the defender got resurrected and came back flying at me. Robertone with a switch out to Musa Gineppo. Go on, Kufre, keep that one going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going! Come on! Give me a goal. I need a goal. Gineppo's there with me. Musa will drive inside. Kuto's there. Robertone's there. No! The keeper is keeping them in it. Wow. Stop after stop. Superb goalkeeping efforts from Marcusin in this game. We could easily have scored four in this one too, but their man between the sticks is determined to give them a first leg victory. They're making another change now. And... Vergara is on. Kufre making the, the run forward, but I don't have anything in way of support at all. So I just tried to force a pass and couldn't get it done. 20 minutes to go. Hopefully, though, we can get the equaliser done. But their goalkeeper seems to have other ideas. Martin Darun into Vergara. Looking to have an impact off the bench. Out to Romario Barrow. Somehow kept it away from Kufre. 
Still Porto looking for a third. We'll give them a real strong second leg position if they are able to extend their leads yet further. But Kim as well, that will that one? Won that well is how he's supposed to say those words. Chess? Uh-oh, Martin Darun. Oh, what a ball! I didn't see that coming at all, did you? <laughs> That's perfection from Martin Darun. They have built on what their goalkeeper has... Oh. That assist! Unbelievable from Martin Darun. Vergara off the bench. To add a third, unreal. Porto are doing to me what we did to Bilbao. Oh, ridiculous from their goalkeeper. Ridiculous from their outfield players. They are putting us to the sword here. And I thought we were going to have a simple fixture. We have had anything but. Oh, down the line. Kufre trying to get it off Manafa but can't. I mean... 3-1 is a resounding victory, but if they get a fourth, I think we might be out. <laughs> we might be out. Four away goals for Porto. It certainly wasn't the nil-nil draw, was it? Oh my god. Where where has this second half come from from Porto? They just I mean, how do you defend against that? It's exceptional football. Tony Martinez has another. You're not... Well, it's hard to imagine them losing it over the course of two legs, Derek Ray, let alone them losing it in this game. 4-1. And we are going to have to go to Portugal and score four, at least. Because a 3-0 win won't be enough. Because that would still see them go through on away goals. Unbelievable. That's a lovely ball. And he's offside. Oh, the chance to maybe pull it back just a little bit. Put to the sword by Porto. And I, I can't argue with it. The goals that they've scored have been unreal. Their goalkeeper has been similarly impressive. I'm sure you guys will agree that Marcusin has made a couple of standout saves in that game. It could easily have been a 4-4 draw, but Porto will be thanking their man between the sticks. No surprises that the camera zooms straight on him. I mean, they had four shots on target and scored all four goals, but they were goals of some quality. Fiorentina win 4-1 in their away leg as well. Nobody expected that from Porto, least of all me. Uh, well, Abar was going to be the game I was going to sim tomorrow anyway, so might as well sim it now instead and get it done and out of the way. A player available after suspension is good news. Quick sim against Abar. Please let us bounce back from that defeat with a win. No, oh, of course. What? Aggregate 5-3, th what are you talking about? That was a league game, wasn't it? That's confusing. They win it by two goals to one. They score after a single minute. Taka Fuso Kubo equalises after nine. And Alvarez wins it late on. Oh, it goes from bad to worse. That's probably us off top of the table now, isn't it? And I think it's Europa League next. Indeed it is. So we will start tomorrow with the second leg against Porto. Robertone has completed his training as a playmaker. So... That's all of the growth we'll get out of him this season, but he's up to 86 rated now. That'll be on Yeka now available for this next international uh, or next European game. But I want to know where we are in the league after our victories and our subsequent defeats in, uh, in La Liga. We are still top by two points with 14 games to go. We still look good in La Liga. We do not look good in Europe. Yikes. It could go either way in the Copa del Rey as well. By the end of tomorrow's episode, we will either still be in with a shout of three trophies or only have one left to fight for. Or perhaps two. <laughs> if we're able to get through against Real. But phew, Jesus, blown away by Porto. Absolutely destroyed me. <sighs> Better luck tomorrow, eh? I'll see you then.